Smack off! Out! Shove off! Get out! Michelle Damon, welcome to 101 Things to Do with a Busted RMO3. This week, we have a very practical use for the RMO3. However, it took our conversion team of programmers, analysts, and data entry people a couple of weeks to figure out what practical uses are there. Eventually, we found the answer, converting the RMO3 into a table. Here's Roger to show us how it's done. Now, the first step in uh, conversion of the RMO3 to a table is to remove one side, like so, and uh, the second step is to take one side and place it on the top. Like that. And the first side can then be brought to a scrap metal station and sold. Uh, you, can, you can buy coffee and donuts with the money from this. Thank you, Roger. Good to have you with us. It was a pleasure to be here. And now it's time for our viewer mail. This week's letter is from Joe Wolfston. Joe has found that the RMO3 is perfect for rack mounting stereo equipment. And best of all, if you need to move the stereo after it has been mounted on the RMO3, it can be easily wheeled to a new location. If you have any of your own practical uses for the RMO3, please write us at the address on your screen or 100 Winchester Road, New Hartford, Connecticut 06057. It is a pleasure to have with us this evening a woman who has recovered many RMO3s, as well as other digital computer equipment, and has created a business out of this junk. Welcome to the show, Connie Hudson. Thanks for having me. Now, what sort of business is this? Well, it's a rental service. I rent out RMO3s for people to use to haul their things with. What gave you the idea? Well, RMO3s are great for moving things around the house and because of the wheels on the bottom. Then I realized that I had a really small car and it was uncomfortable for me to go on trips in it. But I was able to put stuff inside of my RM RMO3 and make a hitch, attach it to my car, and now I rent them and sometimes sell them, but mostly rent them to people. Wow, how much money do you make from this? 47 grand a year. Wow, big money. Well, thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. That's it for this week. This is Michelle Damon saying, thanks for joining us. And remember, if something happens enough times to irritate you, it's going to happen once more. Good night.
Excuse me, is that a bagel boy condom that you're wearing? Why, yes, it is. Hop in then. Thank you. <laughs> bagel boy condoms, the condoms that will save your world. Are you tired of the perfect quality sound that you get from compact discs? Do you miss the wow and flutter of tapes? And what about dropouts? Let's face it, features like dropouts and wow and flutter just don't occur with CDs. But now there's a product which will allow you to make those CDs you own sound just like tapes. From tapists to dropouts, wow and flutter, poor frequency response, this product does it all. Created by BS Products. This device will allow even you to create incredible tape hiss on your compact discs. Enjoy the low quality sound of tapes while retaining the benefits of compact discs. Known as Tape Hiss Generator, this device can create annoying tape hiss to satisfy anyone's tape hiss needs. Just imagine how much better a winger album would sound with tape hiss. But don't let your imagination stop with tape hiss, because if you order today you not only get the tape hiss generator, you get the wow and flutter facility. This machine can generate wow and flutter beyond the levels you've dreamed of. The 100% digital construction allows it to generate wow and flutter, which is simply beyond the capabilities of an analog tape deck. In laboratory tests, it even outdistorted a turntable. But that's not all you get. You also get a box which goes This box is useful for scaring away burglars or just confusing your friends. And if you order today, we'll even give you two male DB9 connectors and a female DB9 connector absolutely free. You may ask what purpose they serve. Well, it doesn't matter because you're getting them absolutely free. These connectors are built to the standards of the American National Standards Institute, so they are guaranteed to mate with other DB9 connectors. To recap, you get the wow and flutter facility, the tape hiss generator, the box which goes ding dong, ding dong, beep, 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 and the DB9 connectors absolutely free. To order your tape hiss generator, dial 1-900-WASTE-CASH. Have your credit card with a limit of $3,000 or more ready when you call. Or send cash today to tape hiss generator, PO Box 747633, Smegville, Connecticut, 06382. Sorry, no checks or money orders accepted. Again, that number is 1-900-WASTE-CASH. Have your credit card with a limit of $3,000 or more ready when you call. This is a brick on an RMO3 table. Hey, store employees, it's Gummy the Slop White Bear president and co-founder of Slop White Wimpy Markets Incorporated. Today's topic is vandalism. Can you say vandalism? I didn't think so. Hey kids, today we're going to talk about vandalism. Vandalism is when people break, smash, destroy, mar, crush, bust, smeg up, hammer on, or generally abuse things that don't belong to them. Vandalism affects everyone, even though not everyone thinks so. For example, in your store, vandalism costs the store money. When the store doesn't make enough money, the store will close. Then you'll be out of a job. So if you see theft or vandalism in your workplace, tell the manager. So what does the manager actually do about vandalism? I mean, hey, wait what if I whipped out doing? a can of spray paint hey. right now, hey, are like you a this, vandal? and started spray hey, painting on I, the wall? I, I, I don't, hey, I'm going to... I'm going to Hey, hey, that's vandalism. You can't do it. I'm going to report you to the manager. And then you're really going to be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to report you to the manager. What do you think of that, buddy? Huh? Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah you know, 
you you can't do that. Hey, look, look. If you do that, we're going to lose money, and I'll I'll be out of a job. I'm going to lose a lot of. I I can't I can't afford to not have a job. Cut that out. Stop that. You you vandal. You you foul cur. You yeah. you. So what you, are you going to do? About it? Take hey, that. Uh, that hey. too. Who's hit me yeah. with that hammer? Shut up for a minute. Now look. What would the manager actually do about vandalism if it occurred? I mean, what if I took a knife like this and I chopped your ear off with it? I mean, would he do something about it? Because, let's face it, the day you snuff it, the manager, well, he moves up a position in the company. Uh, so well, he doesn't I, give a damn if I vandalize maybe. you. Now, uh, well, yeah, I guess... And, and hey, what if I hey, took hey, your arm and chopped uh, that off no, like no, this? Come, ow! Ah! Hey, damn it, I was glued oh. down. Now look what you What's did. This? Ah! Hey, hey, I mean, oh, I could take this hey, knife and chop you in half. That. The manager wouldn't do a damn thing about it. Because, well, you know, he's gonna be better off, isn't he? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did like you. I could pull your head off like this. And, and, and he's not gonna do a damn thing. Well. <laughs> This is a brick, on a brick on an RMO3 table. Our next spatula is the USA Spatula Corp W7, just recently released in America. How long have you been identifying roadkill? Well, I've been able to identify roadkill since I was a kid. Friends is an automated message service. For a small monthly fee, friends will send you three messages a day. Today, there's a good chance you know someone with HIV. People with HIV can look just as healthy as anyone else. You can't tell if someone is infected with the virus just by looking at them. In fact, the person you're with right now might have HIV. Talk to your partner about HIV. Learn how to prevent HIV infection. Call 1-800-342-AIDS. Rochester Institute of Technology, the home for over 11 million bricks. The record holder for brick purchases, over 8.5 million bricks in a single order. Now, you too can be the proud owner of bricks, like these quality RIT bricks. Produced by the Frank Bar Mint, these beautiful bricks may increase dramatically in value. A previous gold brick, which originally sold for $520, increased in value to over $1,800 when a gold shortage was rumored in the stock market. Order today, and we'll send you the first brick for over 80% off our list price, only $9.98. Other bricks will follow, about one every month. We'll even bill it to your Vista, Master Charge, Galaxy Express, Lunch Club, or Challenger card. Three low-priced installments of $16.66 will pay for each brick. For each 10 bricks you purchase, we'll send you absolutely free one two-pound package of mortar. Your 53rd brick will be a genuine RIT brick, as stolen from the brick pile behind the Wallace Memorial Library. So order your brick today. Here's how to order. To order your RIT brick, dial 1-900-RIT brick. Have your Vista, Master Charge, Galaxy Express, or Challenger card ready when you call. Or send cash today to Really Inflated Tuition, 1 Lamb Memorial Drive, P Box 9887, Rochester, York, 4736. Again, that number is 1-900-RIT-BRICK. Have your credit card ready when you call. This is a piece of paper on a brick, on a brick, on an RMO3 table. Good evening and welcome to the 13 o'clock news. In the headlines today, changes in the crime trends throughout the city have been noted. 
as Don's Discount Donuts opens on Gibbs Street. Before the opening of the new shop, crime in the Gibbs Street area was rampant. Since the opening, crime has decreased dramatically, while the area near Manchester Donuts, located at Man and Walnut, has had an increase in burglaries. Yeah, well, everyone used to go to Manchester since uh, it was the only donut shop in the city. Well, there is lace ridden donuts, but uh, we couldn't go there. It's too close to the station, and the uh, chief used to get upset. So, uh, so we used to always go to Manchester. But uh, since I've tried out Don, uh, the, the prices there are, are half of what they are at Manchester, so you can get twice the donuts for the, for the same price. And uh, so I'm going to be going to Don's. However, not all police people like Don's. Well, I did try Don's, but uh, they didn't have the selection. I, I was looking for pistachio donuts, and, and they were completely out of stock. And I was looking for some, some peanut donuts, and they said they didn't even carry them. So I've gone back to Manchester's. It does cost a little more, but that's the selection that I want. In the stock market today, silicon brick prices rose through the early hours as a silicon shortage was rumored. Beachfront property costs began increasing about 1 p.m. as investors realized that beach sand is mostly silicon. This trend continued until someone realized just how much beach sand there is and that the whole thing had been a silly rumor. Beachfront prices are now at the lowest level seen since 1976. In computer markets, a fascinating change has occurred recently. The prices for dig antiquated digital equipment corporation hard drives have increased, specifically the RMO3. Apparently, computer dweebs have found that the 11-year-old hard drives can be used for almost anything and have consequently been trying to get a hold of chunked ones. Companies in turn have noticed the demand for the drives and have begun to sell them to buyers rather than selling them as scrap metal. The Department of Transportation met today, and here are some of the highlights of that meeting. No. I, uh, I feel that, uh, that, uh, I feel that, uh, we should improve the the roads. I propose that oh, let's see, we are on the map right here. You know, there is a donut shop uh, 3,000 feet away over here and I propose we build a road uh, between the two, uh, specifically a five lane uh, super highway, five lanes in both directions, uh, to connect us to the donut shop. This will facilitate the purchasing of donuts. How many lines did you say? I, I, I think at least five lines, possibly seven. Possibly seven. The superhighway that was discussed has been approved. Well, that's the news for the evening. So remember, news which is not good is news which is bad. Thank you for joining us, and have a good evening. This is an egg on a piece of paper on a brick on a brick on an RMO3 table. Hi. 
I'm a red brick with three holes. Call me and talk to me on the brick line. 1-900-BRICK-2. You can talk to me live as well as many other inanimate objects. Or to hear Brick's secret messages, dial 1-900-BRICK-3. You'll hear messages like... She put wet mortar all over my surfaces, and then in my holes, and then she laid me on the top of the wall she was building. Call the Brick chat line at 1-900-BRICK-2 and hear Brick's secret messages by calling 1-900-BRICK-3. Only $16,000 first year, five-year minimum, increasing 20% yearly. This is a donut on an egg, on a piece of paper, on a brick, on a brick, on an RMO3 table. This is a white brick on a donut, on an X egg, on a piece of paper, on a brick, on a brick, on an RMO3 table. <laughs> 